Hello, it's me, Ebony Jenkins. Oh. This video is not for the sensitive hoes. This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. Hola Sue. Hello, it's me, Baka Baka, Pierre, aka Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Elza, Vla, Bruh. And we are back for another raw view. Welcome back, piggies. Good to see you. You know this is a place where you come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Good to see you guys again. And also, as a friendly reminder, I am now Paramount Affiliated Fish, but today, King. You can find my affiliated link down below where you can get lovely discounts if you don't already have a Paramount. And if you already have a Paramount, unsubscribe from your Paramount and resubscribe to mine in the link below in my description box. You're fan of Drag Race? Well, darling, what are you waiting for? After Drag Race is over, there are other shows you can watch, like Sanford and Son, Good Times, What's happening? You're probably wondering, what are these shows, Pierre? And all I have to say to you is, step your age up in Google. And also, in the description box that's sitting down below, beneath me right now, as you stare at me on your screen, is my tipping information, where you too can tip and support the channel that's also in the description that's sitting beneath me down below. And tipping is not a what? a country in China. So, and most importantly, especially my Baka Baka people who were begging me to do this season, make sure you like the video. It doesn't take much to like a video. You know where you can find the like button? It's also sitting beneath me down below, but this time slightly above the description box that sits down below. So make sure you like the video. You should be sub because you're here every week watching. So make sure you sub. Now, we are going to do what we normally do. Not sure if I have any comments to read, but I'll see. I will read all your tipping if you decide to tip me. Once again, you can find that tipping information down below in the description box. I will read your tips on Global All Stars. And we're going to do a jamming with Pierre and get to the show. Someone said, nasal inhaler, laughing my ass off. Sis sent you poppers. I'm secretly thinking the same thing that Teresa sent me poppers. Some Filipino, some, sorry, some Taiwan poppers. I'm not using that spray because I don't know what it is. I don't trust it. Oh, okay. So in the Philippines, we were taught English at a young age. Sometimes it's even more encouraged to learn English better than our native languages like Tagalog. It's because English is more widely understood internationally. Oh, well. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna need the ballroom scene to react to that death drop <laughs> that the girl did last week. <laughs> this Nina, congrats to getting through this long episode. Only 5,265, 1 million more to go. You're telling me. Nina, I love how even your how even your fishy looks very greatly from, from one another. One face is never repeated. You look like a different woman every time. Well, thank you. I definitely can agree to that, that I never really look the same, really. <laughs> it's just like I try and I like change 
little things on my face each time, which is kind of hard because it's hard to sometimes repeat a face or do a certain face that I want to do because I'm always like changing my features. And so I don't have that like typical go-to drag look like to be in a quick and hurry and go. Cause I wouldn't know how to do it again, you know? And it doesn't look that I wanted to do again exactly, but it's just hard for me to repeat the same look. So says, Nina, I got a suggestion for you. Well, y'all always have suggestions for me and y'all swear that these things I haven't tr already tried. But it says, I'm sure you've seen all the compilation videos that's been popping up of you living for certain queens and them getting tons of views. You should start making your own compilations and uploading them. Make sure to title them just like those videos, Nina Brown Brown living for or Nina Brown hating looks. I've seen a lot of big YouTubers doing that where they put their little, they put their titles in third person and it brings in views. Thank you for your advice, but I've already tried doing, and I've had actually like friends and close people doing their own compilation videos of me, you know, to, for me to post. And this is, this is how it goes, especially when it comes to me. Nobody sees the stuff that I post or that my friends post. And they do the same exact compilation videos of funny moments and stuff, but people don't care to see them. But random people can post, can take my stuff. And once again, like there's somebody who like, who's doing it now, but I don't mind them because like they're, they actually tag me and be like, go follow this person. So I'm not really speaking to them, but, but what well, kind of I am, but I'm not mad at them, but like, you know, I'm I'm the one who's like sitting down for hours putting on makeup. I'm the one who's sometimes tired but trying to force myself to do it. I'm the one who has to after I do the look, sit down and then try to be in the mood and and watch and talk about the show. I'm the one that has to after that I have to edit the videos, which editing is hard work, which I'll be telling y'all make sure y'all like the videos, at least y'all could do. I do all that and post my own stuff and Whatever it is, the universe, blind fans, I don't know. My work goes unnoticed. But when somebody else shares it randomly, people see it magically and it gets more views than what I can get off of little tiny clips. And I'm like putting together a whole 30, 40 minutes, something sometimes two hours, one hour thing. And people are just like, eh, whatever. I've tried doing these things. And I don't get why somebody has to like speak in third person to get attention. Like, why do I have to be like, Nina Brown, Nina Brown, Nina Brown reacts to, I am Nina Brown Brown. Like, why do you have to like, it's like, it's, like, it's almost like you have to trick your fans into watching your stuff, which is so pathetic. It's like, you should just want to watch it if you're a fan of mine. And you shouldn't have to, and if, and if you do go to somebody else's page to see some five second clip about me, is it going to kill you to come to my channel and just watch the whole thing? I guess so. But at this point, I'm kind of like done fighting with like social media and their nonsense. Because even when I post stuff on Instagram and stuff, all my great work, and it is great work. Like the other day, I posted my beautiful look I did for Global, which I look absolutely sickening and fabulous and terrific. And did a great, sickening, fabulous lip sync. And I have, mind you, I have, well, I've had over 500K before, but it's now at like four, 450K, something like that. But when I go back later, an hour later to see who's seen the video, it's like, oh, 125 likes and seven comments. Who's following me, ghosts? And I just got to the point where I just, it just has to be that either, it's, it's either two things. Social media is shadow, is shadow banning me and somehow y'all just aren't seeing my stuff. Or two, y'all don't give a f period. So anyway, I have tried, but thank you for your, um, you know, things that I could do. I can't fathom how talented you are. Any tips for a beginner like me who would want to do drag makeup? Thanks. My tip is don't do it. I think Mom Powell should have you as a guest judge if they allow if they allow black people over here. But don't quote me. <laughs> I'm not quoting you because I wanted the same thing. And if they did have a black person, trust and believe it'll be Shea Kool -Aid. Even though I'm one of the only few black queens who are actually reviewing the show. But that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm not saying why are they skipping doing a rap song? That's the skipping. See, that's what makes it hip hop. Because they're skipping, they're hopping. <laughs> Someone says, I also really don't get the reality of detransitioners is heavy and triggering. When it was clearly not that emotional on Giggity's end, when he was talking about it, it was a light and fun conversation. Also, if anything, the existence of a particular demographic 
the transitioners existing being triggering sounds like a them problem and potentially discrimination ironically. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know why it seems like Drag Race Philippines has a requirement to have tragedy critique time rather than tragedy mirror like in the US. But it really did dampen the mood of the rest of the episode, which I did not need when getting through the lip sync. What's odd is that they prompted John to tell her story when half of the la last week's Untucked was her telling this story. It felt a lot more appropriate setting for Untucked than main stage. It honestly felt wild that it aired it without more editing because of how heavy it was. Right, now that was triggering. If you want to use the word triggering. So yeah, I agree. Those are all the comments. Now let's get to jamming with Pierre. This day's jamming with Pierre is going to be another hit. Well, it's a hit to me. It never released as a single or anything. But it says certified by 702 with Camila, Irish, and Misha. And it's off of their album Star, which is a very slept on album. And y'all should get it or listen to it. Rest in peace, Irish and Orish. This song, Certified, is basically <laughs> calling this girl's man a certified hoe. Like, he's not just a hoe, he's a certified hoe. Like, or he, he has a certificate in being a hoe. You know, and she's like, the girl's always coming to her about, you know, the man problem. She's telling him, like, girl, your man's a hoe. A player. <laughs> so here we go, certified. I live for that beat. It's just, something about it is very, like, Hawaiian. That, oh, my voice is so tired today. And it's just, it's just, and then that, uh -huh. yes. About to cry. I'm about to listen to another player's lie. See, here we go again. You're about to cry. I'm about to listen to another player's lie. Mm -mm -mm. Every time you call, you want good advice. Every time you call me, you want good advice. And I have to tell you that everything's all right. First you let him go. Gave another chance. But this time, it's a different circumstance. Women on the side and baby's mamas too. He got women on the side and baby mamas. Girl, when are you gonna leave him? Mm. This time I can't hold back. I think he's running game. She said, This time I can't hold back. I'm gonna tell you this time. Like, I know as a friend, you don't wanna hear this, but he's running game on you. Sorry about it. He's, he is. Oh, if you don't know where your man is. Girl, he left you home with both of your kids. Girl, your man's a hoe, a player, certified hoe. Oh, all of a sudden. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. oh, it's second verse though. You said your man gets off from work at nine. So why'd he turn his cell phone off till one o'clock at night? But he got off at nine though. But turn the cell phone off to one o'clock. Uh. -uh. <laughs> Y'all don't hear it. She's trying to tell her as a friend, and this verse really gets you. That girlfriend, if you think you smell fish, your man's been cheating on you. She said that. <laughs> now she used fish the other way. If you think you smell fish, your man's been cheating on you. <laughs> You heard her. <laughs> if you think you smell fish, he been cheating on you, girl. And then, oh, whoever he, whoever he cheat on you with, they did not clean out their PhD. Okay? And what's that woman call it? A PhD? When the sin is off, the PhD? <laughs> don't take a blind man to see. Oh, it don't take a blind man to see that you're just holding on for what you wish that this could be. Mm-mm. Why, why? Like I'm coming down on all of my players. She don't want to come across as she's coming on to all the men. All the men ain't players and hoes. If you got a wife and you got kids at home, you should be there. You should be there. You should be there. You heard her. You should be there. You should be at home. For someone they love to come home. If they're not there and they should be and girl, I'm sorry. He's a certified hoe. A certified hoe. 
Mm, mm, he didn't play you for the last time, girl. Open your eyes, girl. You girl, he's out the door. That was certified by 702, and that was jamming with Pierre. Jamming with Pierre. Oh, really quick. Yeah, so by accident, I was on YouTube, and they recommended me watching um, Keenan doing, I guess, a speech or whatever. You know, the political stuff. And he was doing a speech or a, a, a comedy speech, but he was serious about this Project 2025 thing. And I was watching it. And normally, I don't watch political stuff. It just bores me. Like, I can go vote, but I just don't want to watch all this. But I watched it, and it's like, I actually didn't mind hearing him. Sometimes sometimes I look, I look at Keenan as sometimes a sellout, because I feel like he's done Kale dirty, because he became the bigger one. But it was cool to hear somebody who I feel like I could trust. Only because I grew up with these people, watching them in my time, you know, in my time era, my my era. And I feel like I would re I appreciate hearing it coming from somebody like him versus some old person who I don't know anything about at all. And then Michelle came up, Michelle Obama, and she killed her speech. When I tell you she killed her speech, well, I tell you, like, that's, that's, that's the first time I actually was just, like, really just listening to something. I was, I was like, oh, she's serious. <laughs> She's serious. Like, okay. Okay. I see why Obama eats a kudo like macaroni and cheese every night. So, yeah. Anyway, on to the show. Next. Oh, uh, I was hoping they would show the drop. I hated it. I hated that slow motion with a passion. Because <laughs> secretly her exit was kind of cringy. Not that bad. matter. <laughs> She said, I'm cute and it's all the judges care about. Sorry you guys aren't that cute. I'm so excited with the next. Dang, she's extra painted in a confessional today. <laughs> I guess they don't make the Filipino girls repeat the same face and look for the confessional. Whenever I see her, she just puts me in the mind of olive oil from Popeye. Especially the live action one that had, um, why am I so bad with names? But you know, the one that passed away recently from The Shining when she played Olive Oil. <laughs> oh, I actually am going to do an Olive Oil look one day. I want It's so basic, but I want to do like, do it, but make it a little tiny glam. But she just reminds me of Olive Oil. I just need her just to tie her hair up in a really slick back bun and a red shirt <laughs> and red earrings. Shelly Duvall. Yeah, RuPaul would never let them do that to her. <laughs> once, they, once they would all have a cease and desist, you know, they would all be locked up in prison. <laughs> but that's when you secretly slip your finger up their nunky hole and go, oops. And then when nobody's looking, sniff your finger. Oh, like my house smells like soy sauce. Drivers, Philippines, we explore virus guys of X. I love that top though. I was to do. Okay, that one is just show. He's not the hottest guy, but he's like an average, honky dory kind of thick Asian pale guy. Okay, I'm I'm kind of into it. <laughs> <laughs> not a frog. <laughs> I wonder if that's hard though, or is it like gushy? It looks like probably both. Verse six. Verse six. Okay. Not thinking that that's verse six. <laughs> the hell. <laughs> <laughs> My pal's a mess. <laughs> Not him screaming to make it worse. <laughs> when I tell you, all of them are women. Girl, at least scream like a man. Oh! <laughs> Not Maxie's cheeks. <laughs> she was doing a good job, though. I want to do this with, like, friends. But like really weird stuff in there, and then like cut a hole in there and put like people can put people can take turns putting like their penises in there, and you're like, ah, ah! oh, he can, he uncut. <laughs> you guys got me there. Anybody have any hand sanitizer? No, seriously. I just feel bad for the actual products. Imagine how they feel, how their feelings feel. Like I'm sure the spaghetti, cotton candy, Tampico, and cactus plant is gonna need. 
therapy after this, being groped on by all these different people. Imagine how they feel. Nobody ever thinks about the small things. It's our first ever hosting challenge in Jagri. So they're doing a hosting, their very first ever, they say, hosting something. Okay. Interesting. I'll see how it is and if I watch the whole thing. And that show that you'll be all be <laughs> This reminds me, I think it was season two or one of those seasons, and they had Tori Spelling with her evil ass. And her man. And what what did what's the name say to her? <laughs> Something like Tori. So how's your HIV? But <laughs> she said they said the wrong thing. I think it was BB. How's your HIV? <laughs> what kind of editing going on? I'm like, okay, it's out of nowhere. Girl, why is John looking like Tisha Campbell? <laughs> and they're gonna go tights. They're gonna go tights. She looks good though. <laughs> Dang, they sound annoying. Up in my hell. In my bed. Is he allowed to get out of John is secretly going to transition one day. <laughs> he's literally already fish. Like, like there's just, he's, he's already fish. He has no other choice. When I tell you, I don't know what the hell's going on. Like, when I tell you, I don't know what the hell's going on. When I tell you, I'm trying to follow this, but I'm about to unfollow. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't fairly judge it. Because I'm just like, what is happening? Oh, that's daddy. That daddy. That daddy right there. Right there. Yeah, I'm definitely unfollowing. San Francisco. Shout out to Queen. That is a queen. I, this thing is more serious and, and not the not the old like kind of Oprah Ricky Lake music <laughs> and I love Max I think it's Maxie I love her look because it reminds me like we, we were doing promos playing dress to impress yesterday, yesterday and it's kind of putting me in the mind of when we did um whatever season had um Silky Silky's first season and the colors and stuff so but anyway, I, I like that look award winning actress but that lace is nasty. Girl, if you don't cut that lace off, cut, girl, either cut it off or glue it down. Jesus Christ. The girl, the, most of these girls really need a one-on-one -on -one lesson in how to properly put a wig on your head and hide your lace. <laughs> Please. I guess when it comes to this group, it seems like, or maybe it seems like Tita's maybe over-talking Max, or either Max ain't really putting herself out there to really speak. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Not yeah. <laughs> I live for that bra though. <laughs> Is it too nice shot or boom? Is that a snake on her head or she just happy to see me? <laughs> Nothing both looking the wrong way. <laughs> oh she's over there. Oh. <laughs> They seem a little uncomfortable, like, I don't know, or either it's the lady, it's like she's standing there, they kind of look like, uh, what about, what do we do, who do we, like, <laughs> Speaking up, um, yeah, so how, Not speaking up, so, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, what, what do you, yes, what? <laughs> nine, six, 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 nine, nine, six, six. Yeah, we definitely can't show this. <laughs> definitely I can't show this at all, like, at all. I just noticed the breastplate sitting on her like a like like a turtle neck. <laughs> yeah, but this one's a little too um sexual. I mean, I guess she's having a fun time with them. I guess from what I can make out. What the heck? <laughs> <sighs> I never mind. Dang, her makeup is. <laughs> Child, when I tell you that's a literal, like, is she still cooking? Is, is the face still cooking? It hasn't set yet. Girl, a literal highlight, literal contour. It's <laughs> nothing blended together. <laughs> like, look at the two faces together. Like, it's just like, what kind of. Maxie looks cute to me here. I really have to give Maxie. Uh, oh, sorry, it was her, her props, though. Props to her mama. I like when somebody 
gives a true drag illusion. Like, when you think about how Maxie looks as a guy, like, you know, like, I mean, I mean, funny, but, like, you know, his skin's a little, like, broken out and stuff, and, he, you know, and he, he looks a little more, like, you know, a, a little mask or whatever, and then he transforms to this. He is secretly sickening. <laughs> like, I, like, like, where you can't see, I can't see him. I see another person. And that's how drag should be. You could put a little bit of breast in that bra. Okay. Oh, at least she rolled her eyes. I was like, oh, her breast thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it cute. <laughs> if Goofy don't stop falling on it, off that, off that damn cliff, this is definitely an outfit. <laughs> Something about this is kind of Scottish to me. You know, dummy bunhood, man. It's very, it's very Scottish to me. Like, it's kind of giving me, like, one of those Scottish, like, skirts. Kind of, and, like, for some reason, the colors, I don't know what it is. Something about it. I'm not too mad at it, though. I'm going to... I'm actually going to rent it, but I would never wear it a day in my life. <laughs> and I'm tired of mom pal in these dry black auntie wigs from back, from back, from back in the 70s. <laughs> Girl, this this wig is Diana Ross and the Supremes. My baby love, my baka love, my baka, baka, baka love. Oh, Karen. Karen, let's go. Oh, Karen, Karen got her big weave today. <laughs> oh, never have I ever won a challenge on RuPaul's I was literally getting ready to say, never has she won Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> like literally before I can get my long cubicle finger and press pause, she beat me to it. She knew I was going to say it. You clever whore. Thank myself for this outfit. Thank you myself. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming she made it. And it shows. Well, thank you. Racers. Oh. <laughs> okay, I actually didn't mind it this time. I kind of like that. Because they were talking too much, and I'm glad that engine said, Shut the hell up! <laughs> Hello, Tinkerbell. I'm trying to understand the category 3D fractal extravaganza. What is fractal? I guess it's 3D because it's, I guess, because it's kind of all like protruding out, like it's coming out. I guess. But this could also go with any other, any other, other, other challenge. But it's a cute dress, though. I would definitely rent it. Actually, I'll buy the dress, actually. I'll buy it. But I will not buy the back of that wig. Ooh. For my 3D fractal, I am... I like this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to really... I, I love some rich wine, burgundy, deep blood red nonsense. It's just so gorgeous on a lot of, a lot of skin tones. So I, I'm going to buy this. Y'all think that's making me dizzy? I'm like, oh gosh, I mean, I'm, I'm hypnotized. Baby, I'm hypnotized. <laughs> that stank song by Johnny McGovern. I wish <laughs> the legs could also be, like, maybe blue. And maybe longer, or maybe some boots. But I'm, I'm going to buy this because it reads... It's not... It's 3D. It's more so whatever the other word is for um this kind of stuff. But I'm going to buy it because it's... It definitely gave 3D when she like slapped it open. I'm gonna buy it. Ice, ice, baby. I, I hear that. Ice, ice, baby. Damn, my pal's proud of her. This is okay to me. The best parts for me is the top and the headpiece. It falls a little short for me with the bottom part of the dress. Like, just kind of falls flat to me. Wish it had more volume or something. I'm gonna put it on layaway and then come back when we can do something with the bottom of the dress. You know, everyone is a relative who migrated the blonde. Okay, yeah, I'll rent this. I'll rent it. All right, Miss Tita, baby. Up on the runway is serving you fly, fly, fly. Uh oh, eh? uh oh. Eh? Okay, have we seen bugs on here before? Right, bug looks. I'll rent it. I'll rent it. I like the upper part again. Like I like the upper part. Like the. Chest part, the lay, the arms, the headpiece, you know. So yeah, I'll rent this. Complex fractions, so I'm taking fractals for. Actually, I'll buy it. That close up just now was giving me life. I think I think I just want maybe maybe if she could have airbrush some color on her legs or something like some light blue and light green and like glistening reflections on her legs as well and her arms as well. But but I'll buy it. 
My trader <sighs> fractals runway is heavily inspired by cement. At this point, I didn't gave up on 3D. I'm just like, it's a nice outfit. You know, <laughs> I'll buy this. Maybe actually, I'll rent it because only because like I feel like that part that's by the cooter is just so exposed and pop hot. <laughs> I wish there was something more hiding the pop hot, a little more just kind of hiding there. Um, but definitely, it's a cute like girly like look. So I'll rent it. For my runway look, it is inspired. I can get 3D. I like the face she was making, but I hate the bottom part. Once again, like I'm, I'm liking a lot of the top parts, but the bottom parts I'm not liking. Like. It almost feels like, did she just give up on the look? Did she, did, was there not enough time? Because imagine a cool, like, I don't know, weirdly shaped pants with that same material up top, like, bulging out. Yeah, it's, it, it just seems unfinished or something, so I'm going to have to pass on this. I chose white because it looks... It's shaping her body, her body so bad. Like, maybe if she would have padded to help fill out the outfit, it'll make it look better, but... It's overpowering her body and it's giving her no kind of shape or at all. Like, at all. I walked down the runway as a. I hate it with the lady said. She's a very blue, like a blue fairy. Like, oh, that was so cute of you. Um. <laughs> this is a different kind of makeup for Angel, but it just seems. Compared to everybody else, it just seems like okay. It's not bad. Like 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 it. I would wear that dress. I would wear that. But it just like it's okay. So I will. I'm gonna put it on layaway. Up my life. I am representing. She's giving me one of those fishes. I don't know if it's the, oh the lionfish. I'm getting a lionfish. Like for for just some reason, I'm getting a lionfish. I'll rent this because I because it's it's kind of interesting. John Fidelliaga. Okay, John's last name sounds like an, an, an Italian dish. Like, I'm at All Gardens. Hey, can I get the number two, the John Federlegano Vicini? Yes, thank you. Wow. You're I'll tell you, her face looks really pretty tonight. Like, she, she, she has a very severe kind of, like, she could be a villain, her face. Makeup. I feel like the, com the compliments that come from these judges are much more sincere than from Drag Race in, in the States. America like I feel like they actually like like my pal is genuinely like astonished by some of these girls like makeup and looks like she's like Congratulations. You oh get down on your monkey feet when you got your monkey seat Maxi is the winner all right I thought they were gonna let um forget it Maxi is the winner <laughs> now. uh oh was that a remix it went down. Get down to the fun, 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 get down, down, fun, 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 get down, down. <laughs> Charming, but predictable. How is that predictable? Is it because she's doing like her, like, you know, these J Japanese or whatever looks and they just want to, or they're tired of her doing like these, like, you know, anime kind of looks? Is that what it is? I need to bounce back. I need to succeed. I need to. I was hoping to see her drop again. Hey, Queen, I'm sorry, my ear. J. Quinn and Yudi Poda are getting down on their funky feet. Get down on their funky feet when you knock my funky meat. God damn! I don't know what song this is. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of cute. And I can't really tell who's doing better than who. Oh. Ow, it kind of has like one of those like Latin kind of thing to it. The body qua, body qua, body qua. <laughs> yeah, the other one really is not much of a performer. What's her name? <laughs> With the helmet on. Not doing my twerk it. <laughs> that's the problem with a lot of these fashion girls no shade they're so concerned with fashion and giving skinny model that they don't even take the time to learn how to perform which is also an important part of doing drag like we get it you can do fine but just walking back and forth and pointing is not gonna do you any good especially on drag race Oh, I feel bad for her. 
Oh, but girl, you embarrassed yourself, girl. You really did. Like you embarrassed yourself. You embarrassed yourself. I feel, but I do feel bad. I genuinely do. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she just gave up. She turned. She says it's. She really wants to walk off. And her, she just performing. She, 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 I don't think she even know what's going on. She's in her own world doing a music video. <laughs> Oh, I actually want to cry. <laughs> I do. I want to cry. She probably also seen that the other girl was doing better and that and they were that they were into her. Oh, before. Oh, these things really do make you feel like it's your last chance for anything in the world. Like it's your dream being just shattered and like nothing else will ever happen to you. Oh, poor girl. But kudos to her for still going. But she should have walked off. I would have walked off and said, I, I, I gotta go get her. I gotta go get her. That my sister. <laughs> you stay. Yeah, I think you're the one. Well, congrats to Jay Quinn for still putting on the show, you know, while all that was going on, for still giving your best. Oh. Yeah, I really do feel bad. Like, you know, you sign up for these things and you think you can kill it and hang it, but then, and people, you know, we sit home and be like, well, why even go? Why, why? Why would you even do it? Why? Why? But you just never know. Sometimes, what, what, like when you get there, how your mental might take over, and whatever you said you were going to do might change. You know, and she probably just already felt like you know. I'd rather walk off and instead of hearing sashay away, which is looking looked at as like I guess a failure or a loser in a way. But I guess she had to do what was best for her mental at that moment. So I can't do it anymore. I'm surprised she even she even she even did the mirror, <laughs> but it's like but but here's the fake thing is like you only feel like you can't do it anymore because you didn't do good in this challenge. But had you have done good, you would be gladly staying and want to do more episodes. So that's the part where it seems like because mm -hmm. <laughs> if you truly couldn't do it anymore, you would have been left even while you were doing good, you know. So, but okay, well. That was the episode, guys. What do y'all think? That was drama. Do y'all agree with the winner, the outcome, the situation? Thank y'all for watching another video. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe. Okay? And as always, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. And I will also be seeing you for Global All Stars. Ta-ta. Uh, dibba, 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 dibba. That's all, folks. And...